I mean, your core is a lot bigger than just your abs. The core, it's not so much about, you know, getting a six pack or looking good. It's about how do we get all that power you can create with your lower body? How do we get all of that energy transfer to fly through the kinetic chain to get to his arm? And the key is balancing the strength that he has in his lower body to that strength that he needs in his core. I like to incorporate hip flexor as well. So we use one leg straight, one leg bent, one leg on the shoulder, one leg on the ground. To whichever side we're twisting, we're incorporating that, that hip flexor as well. So whether you're working your, you know, your obliques, your transverse, your hip flexor all at the same time, we're trying to do that as much as we possibly can. So today we had what's called supersets, five different ways, and we did 15 each way. Each degree of separation we can get from his pelvis to his upper body is gonna add a mile an hour faster on his ball. So if we can improve his, not only his flexibility with the separation between his pelvis and his upper body, but also strengthen the full range of motion as well, he's gonna be able to add a velocity to his throws something that we're really working hard on for him moving to that next level. Some of the throws you make in college, you can't make in the NFL. Those windows become, you know, from three yards to six inches. That's why we do the core work that we do. And a lot of it's rotational core work and anti-rotation core work, incorporating um, as much of the core in each exercise as we possibly can.